the interior is really eclectic. Lots of colour, very vibrant, lots of objects. And it has a really nice energy. We design all sorts of interiors, very contemporary through to very eclectic like this one. It's a very traditional building, but the interior had to be brought up to date. So what we decided to do was to create energy, different spaces within the house, lots of eclectic objects, different temperatures, different colours. Upstairs is a really bright space where the main kitchen and the living area is. We wanted to have somewhere where you could really cook, hang out, have a glass of wine. The kitchen opens up onto a small sitting room. There's lots of bright tones, bright colours, very good lighting. I think the art really makes this place very, very special. The idea was to really bring together photography, art, sculpture, with collective objects. A different pieces from Italy, we found a mirror in Morocco, and just tried to mix it up a bit. We wanted the garden to feel quite cottagey, lots of English flowers. Again, it's another area for living, so we created a really fun sitting area outside. Another amazing thing about this place is the light. So you get a lot of sun through these massive Georgian windows and it filters in. So we put this really beautiful crystal chandelier in the kitchen. The prisms on the chandelier refract the light in a very lovely way. We wanted to create in the TV area in the bedrooms much more of a sanctuary, much richer tones, moodier, cosier, especially areas you may use in the evening. It's important they're more comfortable. For example, in the TV room, it's very dark, chocolate brown. It's got the original fireplace down there, roaring fires. We want somewhere we can retreat into after a busy day. It's unique. That's really important with all of our projects, to really get to understand what the client wants and create a space that reflects them.